Hello everybody and welcome to a video series on how to host your Drupal website using Bluehost. In this video we're going to show you how to take an existing Drupal website and get it up and running at from Bluehost.com. So before we get started there's a few things you'll need to follow along with this video. One of which is a completed Drupal website. As you can see I have that here. And the other thing you'll need to do is make sure to make a backup of your um, database. So once you have your database and your site, you'll be ready to follow along with the video. Once you have your, like I said, once you have your site and your backup, the first step is going to be head over to Bluehost.com. On Bluehost.com, you will obviously be able to select a plan to host your website. So to get started, click on the green button to get started. And then once there, there's a couple different options for your plan. Um, for this video, we're going to use the starter plan. It's one we also recommend. Um, the, obviously, the caveat is you can only use one website, and you do have some unlimited space. But for most websites, this is going to work. So go ahead and select the 349 starter plan. And then you'll have an option to select a new domain, or you can use an existing one. For this video, I have an existing domain name. So I will just type the name in the um, text field and select next. And then we go into creating an account. Okay, so you get down to the package information. So again, we're going to select the 349 plan. And then they have a def bunch of different options that you can additionally sign up for. Um, for me, I'm going to deselect these as in I don't I just don't want them again if you do want them make sure to click on more information and read up on what each of these options are and as you can see here as well as well the fee per month that you'll be charged and then you just have to enter in your billing information and then click next All right, so now we, that we have our account set up and we've selected our plan and entered all the required information, it again asks you for if you want any upgrades for your um, website. Um, for this example, again, I do not want any updates. I'm just going to select all defaults. So I will um, just scroll down to the end and click complete. Okay, so there we go. Now you have a Bluehost site set up and after you've entered all the required information. So the next thing you want to do is choose a password for your account. So if you click on the create a password button. And then you have to make sure that you enter a required password. Um, Bluehost is pretty particular on the password that you need to use. Um, I like to go to the password generator and then just um, use one of theirs and then I go ahead and click create from there and there we go so now I can log back in using that same password I just created it's obviously good to know to write that down if you um, obviously don't want to request a new password every time and there we go now my account has been has been set up with bluehost.com so the next step of course is going to be to getting our Drupal site um, loaded onto Bluehost and getting our database as well loaded onto Bluehost. Okay, so now that we have our Bluehost account set up and we are ready to drop our Drupal site into Bluehost's um, cPanel and get everything set up from there. So the first thing that you need to do is, and this is kind of important, is if you've used Bluehost's um, domain service um, you won't have to do this step but if you have bought a domain outside of Bluehost which I have um, you'll need to first point your domain name to the right um, IP address so to do that I used um, GoDaddy as my um, domain purchase -er. so what I did is I just came in to um, manage my domain in GoDaddy and found my um, IP address and I changed it to what Bluehost wanted me to and you can find that out by going to manage IPs or on this page here and it gives you the IP address to point your domain to. So I uh, copied that IP address and then again just pasted it um, into my A record here. 
So once you do that, then you can continue on selecting or connecting to your FTP server. If you don't do that, you'll have some issues um, going forward, um, which I experienced firsthand. So the uh, first step, there's two ways to do this. Let me jump back here. Um, you can upload all your files onto um, Bluehost by using the file manager here. Um, I'm not going to use that um, option. I'm instead going to use FTP. Um, FTP just makes it a little easier going forward when managing your websites. If you want to drop in new files or edit files, um, it's just a nice way to do that. Um, so to do that, we're going to head on over here to FTP. And then you can create an FTP account. You have to create an FTP account. Um, what I recommend is just using you know first names, uh, password. I generated a password via Bluehost. And then for the directory, I just did it just slash public HTML. Um, as you can see here, I have one already created. And you can see my directory ends at just public uh, underscore HTML. So once you get that created, um, then you can hop over to your any of your uh, FTP clients you want to use. Um, I am using FileZilla. So I hop over to this one. And then if you add a new um, file, you can do it one of two ways. Um, you can do use, if I jump back here, you can import... Um, your um, FTP information. Otherwise, if you, right here, if you configure FTP client, it'll give you a configuration file that you can import into FileZilla. Otherwise, it gives you the manual settings to set up your FTP client. So what I did is, you can see, is I just used the um, import option, but it pre-filled in all this information that you see here. So again, we're using the host. Your port is going to be 21 um, FTP um, username and password, which you selected when creating um, your account up here. So once you get that, you go ahead and connect. And if it works correctly, you'll be able to see your files on the right side of the screen if using FileZilla. Um, you can verify that that's correct, of course, because we didn't have any errors and the files that were seen on Bluehost are seen over here as well. Okay, so the next step thing is to get our files from our current site on our local system over to the FTP client. So the first step I recommend is to get rid of all of the files inside of FileZilla. So over here I just do that. I'm just going to do a delete. So now I'm getting rid of all the files over there. And then I'm just going to take my encompass or my website root folder and then go one level in and select all of the files. It's important to make sure you also grab the hidden files um, as well with Drupal. So once I do that, I'm just going to drag them over here and I'm going to let them all transfer via FTP. It's going to take a minute here. We'll, we'll wait. Okay, now that our site has finally been pulled over via FTP, the next step is to get our database working with Bluehost. So I hop over here to Bluehost, and underneath the databases tab, you can see we need to create a new database. Obviously, being an existing site, I have a database already created. So what I did is I just hop over here to my FTP client, and navigate into the um, site's default folder and inside of there is my settings.php file so I pop that open in my um, code editor and again I'm going to get the um, database name which is Drupal all lowercase so I'm just going to add that here create my database and that's all that is right there see here now I have my database created and the next thing I want to do is I want to create a user I'm just going to do the same um, name and then I'm going to have uh, Bluehost generate my password for me and there we go and whoops and now we're going to create the user and then go back And then I need to make sure I add that user to that database. So we'll go ahead and do that. Click on all privileges to give them all access. And then click make change button. And there we go. Now we go back and we can see 
we have some stuff going on. So we've created our Drupal database and we've assigned a user to that database. So now we need to hop back to our settings.php file and update this to reflect what we've Um, to make sure that we have the same username and password as what we specified in Bluehost. So it's ncomp. There we go. We can just copy it from here. So we will copy that. And again, we, we use the same name for um, the user as well. So copy that. And we're going to drop in the password. Just right there. And there we go. So make sure we save that. And again, we're, we're editing directly on FTP, so we're going to hop back over to FTP to push the changes out to Bluehost. There we go. So now we have our database set up. Now we need to import our current database that I was working on on my local system. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have a Drupal database set up as in a user assigned to that. Um, so the next step is to set up our, or import our um, old database from our local host site. So to do that, hop back over to the cPanel. On the cPanel, scroll down to you find the um, database tools section. Inside there, pop up PHP My Admin, and it will ask you for a password. Um, it's important to note this is your um, Bluehost password, um, so not um, the other passwords you've had to set up during the process. So enter your Bluehost password there. Click Go. Okay, so now that we're into PHP My Admin, we need to import our database. Um, it's important to note that you want to first go to your databases tab and select the database that you've created. And then you'll know you're in there because you'll see up here it says localhost and then you're going into your actual database. Um, from there, go ahead and click import. And then again, we just need to browse to our file, or our database file. Select our database file. Um, you can select or you can keep the rest of the um, options default and click go. And this will take a little bit depending on the size of your site to upload. So once this uploads, you will then have a Drupal database uploaded inside of um, phpMyAdmin. All right, and there we go. Now we see that we have an imported our database. We've successfully imported 359 queries, so we have a smaller Drupal database here. But if you head over to um, structure, then you can see all of the different database tables and everything that has been uploaded for the site. So in theory, now we have successfully uploaded our files um, via FTP, and we've successfully uploaded our database. So now we should be able to go to our domain name and get everything working from there. Okay, so now let's try it. We're going to head right to our domain name and see if this works, see if everything was done correctly. So I will type in the domain name, of the website and click enter and there we go our website is now live again everything you didn't see the website before but just know that this is what it should look like um, everything seems to be working pages are all working links are working all the content is loading in and we now have a successfully created and uploaded a Drupal website using Bluehost's hosting services